<laughs> Hello and welcome folks. My name is Fig Fairy Tale and I have a relatively short but I think extremely useful video for you today. When making maps I usually struggle here and there with the layer count and the amount of layers that I have, especially if I need things to interact with walls or be on top of them. And a while back I learned about the trick that you can add additional layers to Dungeon Draft. And today I would like to show you how to do that. It's actually quite simple and you don't need any coding experience whatsoever. It might look a bit daunting at first, but don't worry, I'll walk you through it and afterwards you'll be able to do it yourself. So one important thing to note is that you're not able to make additional layers on any number that is already taken. So you have 500 portals, 600 walls, and it's important that you leave it like that because otherwise the map won't work. Uh, besides that, you can add an unlimited amount of layers. So if you want to add 10 additional layers here, that's no problem whatsoever. Now, in order to achieve this, we first want to make a new map. And I'm going to walk you through the process from start to finish. So we'll open up. There we go. We have a new map and we're going to save this map on um, our desktop. And we'll call that the Dungeon Draft Layer Video. Save. And now we're going to return to the desktop and here we have the file. Now, in order to add additional layers, you're going to need, um, I prefer Notepad++. It's actually quite easy to install it. You can just Google it, but I'll also add a link to the description of this video where you can download this uh, program. And it's basically a text editor um, with some additional features. And uh, what you want to do after you've installed this, uh, it's a fairly straightforward process. You're going to right click on the map file and at the top it says edit with notepad plus plus and that's what we're going to click on and it'll open up uh, this window and this might look a bit freaky at first because it's a lot of code but it's actually quite straightforward and um, the first thing however that we want to do here is go to the top and uh, to languages and uh, we go to the J because this is a JSON file. All Dungeon Draft files are JSON files in general. And we're going to click on JSON. So there we go. It will give us some uh, extra options for, to hide um, some of the, the code away. And you can edit uh, a, quite a wide variety of things. I'm not going to dive into that all. However, um, I know for a fact that Bailey Wiki has a video about this. And I'll also link to that in the description of this video. Um, there are a lot of different options like color changing, uh, taking away uh, the drop shadows. And there are many more things that uh, you, you might be interested in. So if you want to learn more about these advanced topics, I really recommend you check that out. Now for us, we're going to uh, press Control F which will open up the finder menu and there we'll type in layers, uh, find next. And what we're going to do is we're going to change these layers that are in here. Um, so again, it's important to not use any of the numbers that are already taken, but if you want to make sure that you don't do that, I just recommend you stay away from uh, the round numbers. So no 100s um, uh, or 800 or 600 or whatever. Um, so what we're going to do now is we're going to copy one of these rows and uh, we'll enter and add it over here and we're going to change that number to let's say 150 and we're going to call this layer the um, shading layer one and we can do that with all different kinds of layers so I also want an additional layer between the walls and the roof And we'll make that 750. And we'll call it between walls of and roof. There we go. You see a lot of those uh, drop down things. You don't want to use any of it. Uh, just type the name that you want to have in here and then you're good. Now, when that's finished, you're going to press save. Uh, you can shut down a notepad and we're gonna open up the file once more right and now we're in here it may take a bit longer than the initial setup but um, just be patient and it will load up perfectly now we're gonna go to objects and here we'll see the layers that we just added so between oh, i see that i made a spelling mistake there but you get the point uh, between walls and um 
the shading layer so we can just add in the back for example pop that in there and on layer one uh, we can place objects underneath there we go and on layer 200 you can place it on top and that's it that's how it works you can add in as many layers as you like unfortunately you do have to do this for every map that you make you can't change these settings in the dungeon draft files itself so only the map files um, are the ones that you can edit and then after that you can use it to your leisure everything should work perfectly fine and that's how the trick works you can also do this i believe with maps that already have assets in there but do be sure to um, create a backup file to protect your um, hard map making work now i wouldn't recommend doing this for every map that you're making just be critical on if you really need this uh, if you need an extra layer or you want to do a lot of things on top of the roofs then i'd suggest to take a moment and adding these layers in however it's not that much of an effort and you'll be able to do it in just a few minutes so it's actually rather quite easy well that was it for this video folks thanks again for watching if you liked the video please hit the like favorite and subscribe button to stay up to date of all my content and i hope to see you again in the next video